video now on basic area questions um, with a slight twist. In all these questions that I'm going to do, I'm going to do five or six questions with you. Um, you're given a shape and you're told what the area of the shape is. So you're not asked to work out the area. Now, because you're told what the area is, you're going to be asked to work out one of the sides of the shape. So, number one, let's have a look at a very simple situation. You've got a rectangle. You know that it's 12 centimetres across there, and you don't know what the X is, and you've got to work out what X is if you're told the area is 84. Now, it's perfectly possible to do this in your head, because you know from year seven that to work out the area of a rectangle, it's, it's length times width. It's 12 times something gives an answer of 84. So in your head, you could work out that, well, if you know your tables, 12 sevens are 84, so X must be the number seven. Nothing wrong with doing that as long as you can manage to get at the right answer. However, some of them get a bit harder. So I'm going to show you sort of a, a mathematical way of working it out. If you want to do it from common sense in the exam or the assessment in your head, that's fine as long as you know what you're doing. But I'm going to do it a formal way. Right, here we go. This is what I would do. It's an area question. Area of a rectangle. So I'm going to start by writing down what's the formula for the area of a rectangle. It's A equals LW. And that is something you should learn off by heart. All you've got to do is take that formula and now put numbers from the question into that formula. So for example, here you're told the area is 84. So you change the A value to 84 equals... L, you know, is 12, and then times W, well, W is the X, so it's 12X. So what we end up doing is setting up a little equation, which we can now solve. We've got 12X on the right, get rid of the 12 to leave X, so take the 12 to the other side, you get 84, share by 12 on the other side, if you know your equation work. So... This is 12 times x, take the times 12 to the other side, becomes a share by 12. Times tables, 84 share by 12, you get an answer 7. So 7 centimetres is x. That's the same answer that you would have got if you'd have thought 12 times what gives you the answer 84. Well, that must have been 7, which is what this little method gave. Let's quickly do number 2 then. Again, area of a rectangle is 160. So let's start with the formula for the area of a rectangle, A equals LW. I know the area is 160, equals what's the length? This time the length is called X, times by, and then W is the width, that's 8. So we're timesing it by 8. So what we've got is 160 equals X times 8, which is 8X. Again, I've set up a little equation. I don't want 8X, I want X. Get rid of the 8, take it over, becomes share by 8. So it's 160 share by 8. 160 share by 8... That's 20. 16 share by 8 is 2 and add the naught. And so 20 metres must be the value of x. What's the end of that question? Right, if I go on to number 3, a little bit harder. This time we've got a triangle. I'm told about the area of the triangle, which is 24 centimetre squares. So you write down the formula for the area of a triangle, which from year 7, year 8, is this formula you should learn off by heart. A equals BH over 2. It's base times height, share by 2. Put the numbers into the formula. The area is 24, so A is 24, equals base. I know what the base of the triangle is, it's 8, times height, that's the Y, so 8Y, and then you share by 2. Well, looking at this, I can see that 24 is equal to, you can work out 8 share by 2, that's 4Y. So that's an equation to solve. I get rid of the 4, so leave the Y on its own. The 4 goes to the other side becomes a divide by 4. So you get 24 share by 4, 6 centimetres is the height, which is y. OK, so moving up to the last question now. Again, area of a triangle, so A equals base times height divided by 2. You're told the area is 45, so 45 equals the base of this triangle. Well, looking at that, it doesn't seem to have a base, but you're perfectly entitled to just flip this upside down and if you did that, you see the x would be the base. So if I go back to the normal way, I'm going to call the base x. And then the height would be still what we've got there, which is the 9. So times by 9, and you've got to share by 2. So we end up with 45 equals 9x over 2. Now, you could do 9 share by 2, but that would give you an awkward answer of 4.5. So I'm probably not going to do that. What I'm probably going to do instead 
is to do this in a slightly different way. I'm going to get rid of the share by 2 first by taking it to the other side, and it becomes 45 times 2 equals 9x. So the share by 2 on the other side becomes a times 2. And then what I'm going to do is get rid of that 9 by taking the 9 to the other side. So x times 9, you end up with 45 times 2 on the top, which is 90. And the times 9 becomes a share 9 on the bottom line. And that's equal to x. And so finally, 90 share by 9, I'll write it at the side here, you get 10 metres equals x. And there you go, there's the end of that question. Now if I go on to slightly harder questions, which you could be faced with, something like this, you can see that this is basically a trapezium, but it's been made up of a rectangle, and they've put the dotted line in to help, plus a triangle stuck on the end. And they're giving you some information. They give you a 6 in the picture across there, and they tell you the area of the rectangle, A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E. So the area of this rectangle I'm shading in here is 48. Right, OK. So surely if I now say A equals LW for that rectangle, area is 48 equals the length. Well, the length is across there, 6 times the width, which is the dotted line. Well, I don't know what that is, so leave it alone. So we get a little equation set up from this first statement there. 48 equals 6w. So the area of the rectangle, just that rectangle on its own, is 48. They're telling you that. OK, so 48 equals the length is 6 times w. That's a little equation set up. So what we do is we get rid of the 6, take the time 6 to the other side, becomes a divide by 6. So you get 48 share by 6. That's 8 centimetres equals W. So in the picture, I now know, if I bring this back down, that that dotted line must be 8, which I can put in the picture. So what does it mean now? Well, let's think about this. The length DC, it says, is 7. D to C, that's 7. So I'm D to C. I now know the dotted line is 8 from the first bit, from this calculation, and I know that is 7. Calculate the area of the entire trapezium. Right, OK. Well, all I've got to do is, if you think about it, probably the easiest way, instead of using a trapezium formula, which I could do, is probably just work out the area of this triangle now and add it to the 48, because the 48 was the rectangle. And if I add the two areas together, I've got the total area. So what I'm going to do is do the area of the triangle. And I'm going to use the formula A equals BH over 2 like so. Now, the area, I don't know the area of the triangle this time, I'm not told it, that's what I've got to work out. The base, I've just worked out, is 7, or I've just been given that, is 7 there, from D to C, times by the height. I know what the height is, it was the 8, which I did work out before, and I've got to share the answer by 2. So 7 times 8, that's 56, share by 2, you get 28 centimetre squares is the area of the triangle. So that's the area, 28 there, of the triangle. So the total area, final answer then, total area will be the 28 for the triangle, plus, if you remember, we had 48, 48 for the rectangle. So 28 plus 48 is 60, 76 centimetre squares is the total area of that starting shape, which is a trapezium. OK, last question I'm going to do then. Another example of a trapezium split into a rectangle and a triangle, and they're telling you this time the area of the triangle, CDE. C-D-E. So the area of this triangle I'm shading in is 40. OK, so if I, for that triangle, apply area is base times height divided by 2. They're telling you the area is 40 equals the base is 10, times the height, I don't know what it is, leave it as h, divide by 2. I'll just do the rest over here, so you've got a bit more space. 10 share by 2 is 5, so 40 stays put, 10 share by 2 is 5 h's. Little equation to solve, get rid of the 5, take the 5 to the other side, you get 40 share by 5, that means 8 metres is the height of this triangle, which I can put in the picture, 8. 
So I know that's 8. Right. Then it says, to finish the question off, calculate the area... Oh, sorry, calculate the... I haven't finished part A. Calculate the area of a rectangle ABED. So uh, ABED is the area of this rectangle. Okay. Right, so area of a rectangle, A equals LW. Area, don't know. That's what I've got to try and find. Length. Oh, the length of the rectangle, I don't know. But if you look at this bullet point, the length of BE, B to E, is 12. So I know that is 12. So the length is 12 times the width. Well, I've just done the width. There is the width, 8, from all this work here. So I know what the width is, 8. So the area of the, re of the rectangle is going to be 96 meter squares. There's the answer to part A. And now finally, calculate the area of the entire trapezium. Well, you know that the area of the rectangle is now 96. You already know the area of the triangle is 40. So the total area, the last part, will be 96 for the rectangle plus 40 for the triangle. You get 136 meter squares is the area of the entire trapezium. And that's the end of this question.